This video is to show you how to install a solid state relay overload and start capacitor 3-in-1 onto a vending machine refrigeration system. Okay, the things you will need for this install is the 3-in-1 itself, a pair of wire cutter strippers, a flathead screwdriver, and the two wire nuts. So, the first thing you got to do is remove the cap on the side of the compressor. And you just pry it off. And these components here, you have the relay, the overload, and the start capacitor, and that's what this replaces. It replaces all three of those components. So you just remove all three of them, like so. The fan wire and the power cord wire are the ones we're going to need. So to make it easy, we will just cut them off. And the fan cord, the fan power cord. So we're just going to cut that. And this, we don't need. So this will get thrown away. And this. First thing, strip the wires to make them usable. wires you'll notice that one will be smooth and one will have little ridges on it or writing. The smooth one is the hot and the, the one with the stripes or the writing will be the neutral. Same on the fan. You're going to have a smooth one and you're going to have one with ridges on it. So you match the ridge ones up like that. Okay the three in one has five wires coming off it. It has three wires with ends on it, and you'll notice these will these are the ones that will hook to the compressor or plug onto the compressor. The other two black wires are where you're going to hook to the power cords. Um, the one nearest the black wire goes to the hot. The one the black wire nearest the white goes to the neutral. Okay, I've matched up the two wires with the stripes on it. That's going to go to the neutral of your three-in-one. So we hook these three wires together, twist them. Install the wire nut like you would on anything else. And then take the remaining three wires, twist them together, and install wire nut. Now these three wires are going to hook to the compressor, and there's a little diagram on here that shows how to how to hook them up. The black wire goes to the common, which is the one in the middle. The red goes to the run, which the run side of it, which is on this compressor, is on the left. And the white goes to the start side, which is on the right. Once you have it plugged in, it's a good idea to test it to make sure it works. Which this one works. If for some reason it doesn't, it doesn't work, you can reverse the red and the white wire and try it that way. For safety's sake, it's a good idea to put the cap back on so you don't have exposed electrical wires there. So just put it back in there. Snaps back on. Okay, and then it's a good idea to secure this to the base somehow. I will use zip ties, which just put it on there. like so. It's also a good idea to electrical tape these wire nuts on so no, nothing comes loose. And plug it in. And she works and gets cold 